Bible says that we are not going back to Egypt and we cannot go back to the saints of our fathers. As it says also in the book of Numbers, 11 verse 5, they say they remember the food they used to eat in Nigeria free of charge. The money and things, the cow meat they are eating, but inside them they need freedom. And the freedom is what we have come to fight with the power of Chukwokika Abiyama. And that is exactly the heartbeat of every Igbo person. It doesn't matter whom you are. We need freedom and the freedom we will get. Biafra all the way. Thank you, all my comrades, as we proceed. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mazio Wubiko. Um, Mazio, go. We don't enter the broadcast and we don't start. Sit at home tomorrow continues. So use um, two minutes to do something about sit at home tomorrow. They will. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> and dear friends, and um, well, we, we don't have this sit at home has become part of us this Monday sit at home mostly. And um, from what has been happening and from what we are going through now, we don't need anybody to ginger or encourage or drag anybody into sitting at home anymore. We should know by now that sitting at home is part of what we are doing and it's part of the strategy and it's part of our weapon. And um, when you look from waiting that happened before, you're going to say the enemies no like sit at home. And I must tell you that anybody that is still against sit at home by now, anybody that don't like it or that discourages it or that even speaks against it or that is still skeptical about it, that person no like Biafra. I must tell you the truth by now, if you still there think, say your, that Monday sit at home, they spoil your business without asking yourself, what about those that have died? If you see the video um, of uh, parties, PDP, MPL, I'll be what they call the APC, fighting, shooting in broad daylight, you should know that this country you call Nigeria, no get anywhere where they go anymore. It don't come to full stop. It don't end. If you see the way uh, British ambassador, they beg people, make on a go collect PVC, make on a come vote. You don't need anybody to tell you, say, this country where they call Nigeria, it don't end. The first time in my life, why they hear and they also see in a video, another person, another country, ambassador, of another country to Nigeria is calling people out, encouraging them, begging them, please go and get your PVC card. It's an abomination. It never happened before. Series of videos we have shown you where decisions has been taken on who is and the who becomes your president even ahead before the election date is drawn your president has been chosen let us not deceive ourselves it will be better for us to be biafrans and remain biafrans and the go home biafrans let us listen to whatever instruction that comes from simon Epa. all the instructions that has been coming from him this far no one has misled anyone. Oh, no, 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 not even one single one. So by now, if you are still doubting, you should sit up. Tomorrow, you sit at home. If you get anybody for home, for Biafra land, call them, encourage them to join the moving train. Because you can see now, from this last two days sit at home we had, nobody was killed. There was no death recorded. Those unknown government no kill anybody because people obeyed and the people sat in their houses. Je, 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 je. So I'm begging everybody. We are getting Biafra and getting Biafra, nobody will give you. You have to pay the price. 
if sitting at home will be the price you have to pay, it will be better for us than to pay the kind of price you have paid. People in Hamufu, people in, um, in Uguta, Izumba, and so on, they lost their houses. People in, um, what do you call them, in um, Benue State, many of them lost, they have been living in IDP camp for years. I will rest my case here. But sit at home is tomorrow. We must and we must come out. We must sit in our houses tomorrow and not come out. Let us obey it. Thank you. Thank you, Mazi Ugo. Mazi Gaddafi, are you there? Mazi Gaddafi, are you there? Yes, yes I okay, am here. Talk to, talk to be friends on sit at home, please. If you are not disposed, you can go to the next person. Then when you are disposed, you can speak. Uh, I am here. You know, my today's speech is going to be full of vote of thanks. It's going to center on vote of thanks to Biafran people. Because if you reveal what Biafran people has done, how they have stood on their ground, and where we are today, those days we used to say, God, thank you for where you are taking us from. Thank you for where we are today. Thank you for where you are taking us to. So tomorrow is sit at home. And uh, I am going to say thank a very big thank you to Biafran people. Who are, yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, please hold on, no bags. No bags. Because um, some people may not understand how far people understand uh, the meaning of freedom. Let the friends listen to this video before you conclude, no bags. <clears throat> On the 20th of March, 2023, there will be a shutdown, and it is our right. We are talking about our rights. Don't ask us about other people's rights. Let them talk about their own rights. We are talking about ours now. We are responsible for our rights, and no one can stop us from exercising our rights. Go and ask them how they are going to exercise their rights under the circumstances. We are exercising our rights. There will be no school, there will be no university, there will be no factory, there will be no bus, no taxi, unless they are taking protesters to the picket lines. There will be no truck to reach us bay. There will be no train to reach us bay. There will be no big roads that will be operating on the 20th of March unless it's emergency services. And we are not threatened by any security because we do this peacefully. It's our right. And if they want to come and violate our rights, they will find us ready. No one is going to intimidate us. South Africa will come to a standstill. The pace has been laid. So it's not only... Yeah. Biafran people that understand what we are doing. Other people are on the same page. <laughs> so connect the dots, Mazi, fire on. You know, I always draw my strength from what the Bible said, that the people that know their God will stand and do exploits. Right. We stand and do... The exploits the Biafran people have been doing and still going to do is that we are going to stand that our rights stand on our rights it is our right to sit at home it is the civil rights it is the civil disobedience it is our right to let the world hear our voice it is our right and Biafran people has done this for about two years now and we are willing to still do it and do more things that are worse than this sit at home because our rights we must stand on our rights we must let the world know that it's our right. And what are we demanding for? The release of Mazin and the Kano. And to give us the freedom of Biafra. Now, we still give them option. Of Biafra, take it. But 
when you live in a country that doesn't obey their law, they don't obey the law in the Bible, they also don't obey the law in the Quran, they don't even obey the law they made as a party, uh, in their party. You know, they call themselves a nation. That, that, that entity is not supposed to be called a nation. A nation is a place that are being governed by law. People respect the law. The law is not a respect of anybody. So, the court has set our leader Mazina the kind of free. Why are they still holding him? Because the Bible said, stand at the liberty where Christ has set you free. Entangle not your, in, uh, again in the yoke of bondage. So, God has set Mazina the kind of free and are still holding him. So, if we sit at home, to let the world know the injustice, to let the world know the, 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 the way they maltreat us, because there is no member of Boko Haram inside detention. There is no Fulani killers inside detention. But we, who did nothing, are being kept in detention. For what? So if we sit at home, it is our right. So I am encouraging the Biafran people to sit at home, to remember that they sit at home continues until they hear us. Remember, Ndibo say Anaga Magarube, Anaga. So what I'm trying to say is that as long as they decide not to release our leader, we will decide at home, and it will get us. We will no longer sit on uh, observantly sit at home. We will go other ways. But above all, like I said today. <laughs> might be my last appearance to talk to Biafran people for now because I'll be going on a journey. So Biafran people, I will miss you guys for, for some times. Please, we have passed the battle to you. We've pushed this thing to this extent. Please don't let us down. As we are passing the battle to you guys, please keep the fire burning. I can be happy anywhere I'm going, anywhere I'll be for, for some moment to say that during my time, the fire did not quench in my hand. So as I'm passing this fire, people, please keep this fire burning. Make sure that this fire didn't go off in your hand. Remember the end point of it is Biafra. We'll always meet again. Thank you, Biafran people. Keep this fire burning, and God will bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Mazi. Dear friends, we cherish you. Uh, Mazi Obiko, you have the mic, please. Still on the sit at home, and it's important. And I appreciate dear friends for all they've done. Yeah, thank you so much, my comrade, for giving me this opportunity. You know, I always come with a my own pro, my own agenda. They said in Igbo that Ugu Mota Ewajuku, Agadima Yamota Agakata, Ibunya Kanu. So if Nigerian government decided to be holding our leader illegally, in as much as courts stand by our leader, then sit at home is one of the options. Sit at home is another new dimension which the whole world is copying today. So as my topic today is, I am taking it today like from the book of uh, First Corinthians. It says, <laughs> when I was a child, I think like a child. I reason like a child. Now I'm a man. I give away childish things. This is what you people have to be reasoning why you are sitting at home. We remind you our 555 vision and we are bringing the teachings, things you should know. International communities knows that injustice have circulated all over Africa. That's why you see South African government are shouting to sit at home. Africa has been captured a long time ago, but we have not come to teach about Africa. But we are telling you now how to reason like a man. 
it what we are doing today is biblical completely biblical and for this reason we come to let you know that in as much as you have seated at home nearly two years now it is better we continue to finish it and uh, let it not be like you right you, you jumped up a man and they landed like a woman it is a parable in Iboland, and nobody is discriminating woman here but it is a parable as we started this thing the whole world knows that every monday is sit at home but when it's getting difficult that is when it is ending then you can connect the dot back again and see karuna lang the british ambassador in nigeria shouting she is the one campaigning for election in nigeria this will tell you all you need to know and that's why we say when i'm a, a baby i reason like a baby but when i'm a man i give away childish things you have to hold them in a in a dangerous place you and people have known and you people have seen it is on record that all this war started from when Mazen Namdekano said he is going to lead in front, that within this time we will set the chaps from the wheat itself. And within this time, different news will be happening. And since that time, news has been happening up to Nigerian government summoned the courage to write a petition to bring Simon Eber back and the Ohanese Ndibo placing bounty on him. This is when you will know that the war has ended. This is what Nigerian government and those our brothers that believe in resurrecting Nigeria, they are just beating around the bush. We go on reading their, their, their hard desire and what they think. All of them are confused. But don't forget, there are people that is called Igbo Biafras and the Igbo Nigerians. Igbo Nigerians are those people who is following the line of Ohanese Ndibo and the Eastern governors supporting one Nigeria. But indigenous of Biafra need freedom. And this is what we are talking. We have to hold them where it is difficult. Mazen Nabdekano said, whenever you are doing something to remove yourself from the hands of the oppressor, and that oppressor come back and ask you, please leave me where you are holding me. You should know that you are doing the right thing. So what we are doing today is biblical and Mazen Namdekano teach us on how to do it. Any time, anything that Janjaweed is against, go and study that thing carefully. It is something to view. Mazen Namdekano. Four this is gospel and uh, when you come to this platform we have five five vision biafran bible biafran gospel and the biafran bible what i'm teaching you now is gospel and the bible it is biblical we believe that uh, in radio biafra that uh, this one we are worshiping preaching this gospel of Mazen and uh, what this is exactly what we are doing so my brother, my I see that I. When you finish all your talk now, what do you go come talk with later? Okay, I am loaded. So my brothers and <laughs> sisters, we are <laughs> dealing. <laughs> all right, thank you. Refresh, refresh from your end so that your system will be okay again. I mean, you can go out and come in again so that when you come back, your system will be okay because the volume was shaking at the end. All right, thank you, dear friends. Um, Sit at home continues. We appreciate you for everything that you have been doing because without you, the whole world will not know that the Biafra is still waxing strong. It is you back home that is actually the man, the woman, the children, our fathers and our grandfathers, our friends and siblings, our family, our Biafra is the you that is back home. We, we are just the tool that God is being used, being used 
every day from where we are, but you, you are at the center point. You're the one facing the brunt of one Nigeria. You're the one closing your businesses down. You're the one that bullet is coming to your houses and to your children every day. We appreciate your sacrifices and we encourage you to continue until Biafra is fully restored. The flag of Biafra will continue to fly above sea level until Biafra is restored. We appreciate you all. And that is why we are here to remind you that there is no going back. It is Biafra or nothing else. All right, we go to the next agenda on the table. Here we see this uh, moronic lady. Here we see this moronic lady. Sonny, I'm not happy for the screen. Are you not seeing you me? Did. You did for screen. Ah, okay. You I think no one give me a chance to talk. No, you talk before now. Which time? <laughs> You don't give me chance. You don't give me chance to greet Biafrans. You greeted Biafrans before. Ah, okay, no, I no, 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 just let's go ahead. Biafrans are already sitting at home, so no problem. Let's go ahead. The sit at home is sacrosanct. Let's go ahead. Vampire, vampire, what did these people want? I make no finish the one. <laughs> Take a busy. <laughs> I don't say you won't find everything one time. Wait, let me go to the next agenda. <laughs> Dear friends, I hope our voices are coming out clear. Please, if we are not coming out clear, type on the comment section so that we can refresh. We want our messages to be well delivered, not halfway. So we woke up to see this woman coming out to cry because. Uh, IPOB autopilot is giving them heart. <laughs> Before the, what is it called? A commissioner or British waiting. And uh, because this is the, this is the colonial office. The colonial office in one Nigeria, inside one Nigeria. If the colonial office is actually standing up to cry, to start begging Biafra, <laughs> <laughs> to start begging the entire people in one Nigeria say, I beg, make Una come out, come go, go to, because we want the contraption, the slavery to continue. We want the hegemonic tendency to continue. That means uh, there's something that the autopilot Biafrans have done. So, uh, now, 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 go see fire this woman there. Mas you go, Mas you go, start to. That as you go. Make I play. Make I play video first. Make I play the video so that make everybody hear waiting she talk. Then uh, we go start to the fire. Hi, Meshi. my name is Katrina Lang, the British High Commissioner to Nigeria. With the 2023 elections fast approaching, I'd like to encourage every eligible Nigerian voter to go pick up your PVC so you can exercise your voting rights. Remember, the deadline is Sunday the 29th, so hurry now and go get your PVCs to enable you to participate in the democratic process on election day. Your vote counts. Hey. Advertisement. Hi, my name is Katrina Lang, the British High Commissioner. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Hey, two, four, seven, and she say she seven, say seven. one thing. She say you are welcome in your own country. <laughs> 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 you tell your house, oh, somebody got to tell you you are welcome. Oh, she not come better yet, better. Oh, abomination. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, inside Nigeria, another person they come from another country, come they beg their friends, beg Nigeria, they say, make them come for so that we can come and enslave you. Hey! <laughs> Mazugo, you have a nice place. Mata, Mata talk himself for this thing because the day, the day, um, the tell my bet the day where you go see Biran Wood begin the move, you know, say you go die. So, Nigeria, the day you go begin to hear somebody from another country come for your country, the day you say you are welcome, and they encourage you, make you go vote. Another person will not be, you know, that 
the person no be say he be candidate for politi for any post political post to no be candidate for local government council no be chairman no be even for pure water seller you no get any post for your country where nothing concern him but he they beg you make you come go vote <laughs> you know say Nigeria don't finish now. They say this my broken. I know Sabi speak English. I know Sabi, but he that he that touch them. They are not begging me and you, Pierre France. Come and get your PVC. Oh, they say Simon help and help me man. He don't make him rise all of them into fear. Yeah, he don't feel like lies them all into shaking. Then they quake. The whole Almighty UK United Kingdom. I don't know the kingdom where they be, but within a kingdom of wickedness, I've been a kingdom of enslavement, enslavement, enslaving people, enslavery. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But whatever happens is that this woman come out in picture first. You know, suppose they here come out. I mean, you know what I'm. We are autopilot as instead leave, 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 leave the picture, leave the picture, my brother. Leave the picture. <laughs> No, come on, Tam. You know what, Tam? You know support. You know, you know support. They there. She know rich, Tam. She's a small demon. She's a pretty Yes. Putting that picture there, eh? Is to tear these people apart. Make you see that they are bowing down to you before the international community. Okay. Come, they Tam. beg you. Come, they kneel down. They beg you. Say, I beg, I beg. We don't see how we are the fire us to be the bank. Come and do election. I beg. Okay. Make I agree. Now, today, they are vote to end. They are waiting. PVC collection don't end. That be. Make I see what she want to do next now. You go see they go extend them. The more they extend them, the more they go their back. The more their friends are becoming stubbornly adamant. Stubbornly adamant. Bluntly stubborn. I'm telling you the truth. Listen, Biafra, time don't pass where somebody go call you, say you they make noise on social media. I remember when I they make program. If I talk about Buhari, if I they say now for social media, you that talk and call, come here and talk. Him. No, don't worry. Shake all the people we get freedom, we destroy the evil people from their country. Now, from outside, they go. Sit down, plan them, do them. Even from olden days, this man, but the way I talk now, now another country stay, plan the work, and then come, come finish taking country back. We are taking our country back. Whether this small apprentice demon want to, whether he no want to, I know send. He gave you the way I go send you that video that they plan always. Make gonna see how they decide the EP. Listen, they decide the election. They decide who go rule before the election. Wait, make I find the video send you. Make you plan. Make people that understand what you with the talk. But if I post some another person go talk, no be me go talk because I don't talk about that video tire. Wait there, wait there. Wait that cool lady. Okay. Yeah, your time don't elapse. Make another person. No, it don't elapse. I they give you the video. Make another person take up. See I'm there. Put and make another person yeah, use them. Demolish this woman. If not, I walk, walk, van, 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 make it take a demolition. <laughs> hey, what do what do media team want to do more? <laughs> and believe me, internet does not forget. I was part of the people that helped to bring Buhari to government because I believe in him. Have you worked with the government after that? After after you helped bring the government. Oh, of course, I work with him. We brought him in in 2015, and I work as the deputy director of defense administration, and we have a lot of hope in him, and we actually are ready to do anything for him. What he has turned out over the years is shocking to us. I was in Harvard in 2014 in December, when the Department of State Services and CIA and others were contemplating about Buhari and other uh, aspirants. I know what we did to convince the American government 
that the only person that can come and put this country right is Buhari. You that was before the, uh, the Lagos, uh, um, the uh, APC, yeah, the, before they choose within. Right. And that was how Tinubu came in. We know what we did, but what he has done in the past six years is shocking. It's unprecedented. And it should not be allowed to be swept under the carpet because the damage to the psyche of this country is monumental. He don't finish. He don't finish. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, this woman now. Bam, this woman now. Bam, bam, bam. No, be me, be the woman, though. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I don't care you come back. Yeah, no, there's, there's a line. There's a line she used earlier. Can you just play that her message again? Play it one minute, please. There's something yeah, she said okay. when she started. Okay, let me play it again. Hi, my name is Katrina Lang, British High Commissioner to Nigeria. In 2023 is fast approaching. I'd like to encourage every Algerian voter to go back your PVC so you exercise your... Every eligible Nigerian. Every eligible, every eligible Nigerian voter. Now, Nigerians, you should listen to this evil woman. You are only eligible when it comes to voting. When it comes to voting, you are only eligible. You are not eligible for a good life. You are not eligible for, you know, a, a good health care. You are not eligible for freedom. In fact, you are not even eligible to complain that police harasses you, that Fulani Hessmen are killing you. You are not eligible. You are only eligible to vote and sustain this business center that these people are maintaining in that evil contraption. Look at her. Where have you ever, in this contemporary time, in this 21st century, do you see white people going, or if not other countries that have people that they, they colonize, do you see them going about telling people it is time to vote, go and vote? Do you see them? Only Britain, look at them, with their the campaigning for a failed state, campaigning for a terrorist country. How can Britain, where they claim they have rule of law, be campaigning for a country? You are you are supposed to be a representative of a free world. Now you are campaigning for a dark world, to sustain a dark world through a, 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 a malpractice of election, through an election that is fraudulent, fraudulent election. And you people are all there. You know, some of them are, because uh, she's British uh, commissioner, the elected minister, maybe they will give us visa. Now, these are people that claim they colonize you. British visa is the most expensive visa. You pay for everything to go to Britain. You pay. When you are filling their form, they collect money from you. In fact, if you even, they don't give you the visa, the money is not refundable. Criminals. Criminals. And this one is not ashamed. So you are coming to talk. Now, this is a country where nothing works for the people. And you are campaigning for them for their eligibility in voting in an election that will keep them where they have been forever. Is this woman not evil? A country where your own citizen, your own citizen, they kidnap. And the law, law, you people are supposed to be the rule of law, uh, people that adhere to rule of law. And the law of that same country, a fraudulent country, which was even a surprise for people like Carol White. Carol White said he was surprised that Nabikan was free. So if Carol White was surprised, you, this woman, is she not even surprised that a country that doesn't respect rule of law, that their own court system set your own citizen free? Till tomorrow, did you hear this woman talk about it? Has Martin Namikano ever committed any crime in Britain before? Has Martin Namikano ever been arrested anywhere in the world before for any criminality? Nowhere. Martin Namikano goes to Israel, goes to America, goes to every country of the world without any hitch whatsoever because he's a law-abiding citizen and he was kidnapped in Kenya. And these blood-sucking demons, they refuse to say anything and they are campaigning for the same government that has ma-handled ma 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 their own citizen. Pathetic. Very pathetic. Look at them. That man that spoke before, you saw him. That man now, that uh, 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 Navy Commodore, or whatever, what's that man's name? 
Till tomorrow, we are not hearing about that man again. Look at the exposition that man gave. These are things that are open there, things that are on the internet. That video went viral. That video is almost 2 million views on YouTube. This Katriona Liang, are you telling me you are not aware of all those expositions? That the same government you are trying to, you know, validate and ask people to go and vote, that they are harboring terrorists within them? Terrorists within them. These things are going to backfire on you very soon and you will know what you have done to yourselves. Very evil. You know, the truth is that this woman, she already know that the game is over. The game is over. And all they are just trying to do now is to play the last card to see whether they can, you know, steal more oil. If oil is your problem, Mazinam, the can already told you, we are not fighting for oil. We are fighting for our lives. We are fighting for freedom. We can give you that oil for free. Please remember, fellow dear friends, that this particular season that we are in, it is a no-nonsense season. These people, we must give it to them water, water, because our freedom is sacrosanct, and if we miss it now, we miss it forever. Thank you, Mazi Sonny, for this time. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you for the bam, bam, bam mood that you just uh, swayed into. Uh, Mazi, will we go, please. Make I simply play this video again, so that you get all your points, so that you wouldn't uh, miss anyone where you want. Hi, my name is Katrina Lang, the British High Commissioner to Nigeria. With the 2023 elections fast approaching, I'd like to encourage every eligible Nigerian voter to go pick up your PVC so you can exercise your voting rights. Remember, the deadline is Sunday the 29th, so hurry now and go get your PVCs to enable you to participate in the democratic process on election day. Your vote counts. <sighs> I do. <laughs> Hey, all the friends. <laughs> you know, sometimes we laugh at something that is evil. And we pick topic again. Should we go and have a yeah, begin to give the definitions of a legible Nigeria? How do we get yeah, legible? Mazi, 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 please. You're cracking. So rush out okay. and come in again. Or maybe mm -hmm. you change your device. I think maybe it could be better without that earphone so that people can hear you. Ah, uh, UK is crying, begging autopilot, <laughs> begging Biafra to come and do a lecture. <laughs> uh, please. Yeah, you are back. Speak. Let us see if you are okay. No, we can't tell you. We can't tell you. Maybe you can do without that earphone. You can it's do without the time. earphone. Yeah, okay, go on. Go on. Let's see. Hello. Yeah, go on now. Go on. Let's see. Continue speaking. I can't hear so. him. Ah, but we can hear you. So maybe you need to go out and come back again. But we can hear you. Uh, uh, UK is begging the Afghans, begging Simon Ekba, begging autopilot media. <laughs> Should I continue, or please? Yeah, continue sure. now. Continue. Continue now. Okay, please, Biafrans, I'm sorry for that. Um, we are trying. I don't know if we have to start for definitions of legible and legibility. Because today is Sunday, religion. When you want to get the legible Nigerians he is talking about, you will go to number, the book of, the book of number 11.5, where they said that they remember the cucumber they used to eat in Egypt, meaning they remember the meat they used to eat, the cow meat they eat in Egypt, meaning eligible nigeria is are all those people who believe that the eating full and cow meat living under corruption are the legible people legible nigerians are those people that use leg from nigeria to morocco to libya cross mediterranean sea 
to Europe. These are the legible Nigerians she is talking about. And he, she is now telling you every legible Nigeria that wants to continue suffering, that want to fight that suffering, suffering in Nigeria. That is the people she is talking to come and validate Nigeria. But we are here telling her that legible Nigerians are no more. Those things they put inside those people, we are here to remove it because we already know the system. Ibo Adeji says, Onyen Jenje is Onyen Yeah, a traveler is wiser than the Oh, a, a gray head man sitting sitting at one place. We have already understand the law guarding this war of sit at home. And here we are telling our people using this media which they created to tell our people you have to sit at home because don't become a legible Nigeria by punishing yourself, by validating yourself, validating evil, validating the, the full and conquest validating the idea and the Usman Donfodio, validating all contraption, every suffering in Nigeria, that is eligible Nigeria, because you have to call things according to their name. Karuna Lang has been an ambassador of, um, of um, I don't know, Uganda or where in Africa. She killed all the people inside that place. And when they see that she has the idea on how to manipulate government they send her to nigeria but in nigeria she will see that west half says that every youth in nigeria is qualified to become a coach and that is what we are doing we are teaching our people the kind of legibility of nigeria and the kind of legibility of being a Niger uh, biafran when we you are a child you reason like a child but when you are an adult a man you put away things of the child and we know what legibility means and we are telling our people now we are not legible nigeria we are legible biafrans thank you my my brother my brothers thank you mazi uh mazi Gaddafi, are you there mazi Gaddafi, are you there mazi Gaddafi, are you there okay Masi Gaddafi is not there until when he comes. <laughs> um, this thing sounds so laughable and uh, interesting to Biafrans. That the uh, UK yeah. has Zimbabwe. now come to tell them. Rose okay, John, thank you for correcting Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Okay. That UK has now come to terms and understanding that Biafran people control their territory. <laughs> That Mazinam Dekado's kidnap is the open door and way to the restoration of Biafra. Simon Ekpa is striking them hard. That autopilots are doing the needful. <laughs> <laughs> Everything here is interesting. I want people to understand things that we are winning this war. We are winning this game. Okay. The okay. war has been won. <laughs> Legible. Right. If Biafra has understand the victory that is recorded from this video that this woman has made, hey, you will be jumping and dancing in the street of Biafra already, just like Martin Africa said. Hey, hey, hey. Britain, the backbone of slavery to every English country, is now coming to kneel down and then beg you to say, I don't see say you don't cripple us, so please, please, please go and hold your guns. Allow us to do elections. <laughs> hey, let the volume increase very well because they are going to see more in coming days. The water, water is going to increase. The tenacity of the Biafran people is going to intensify. The dragon fire. Mazi Simon Ekpa that you people have not seen in the media for some days now. Eh? Do you know what they call dragon rebirth? Dragon rebirth. When a dragon needs to be 
rebated, eh? he needs to go and pass through the funnels of fire. So it is a dragon rebel on his resurface on the media. <laughs> hey, oh my God. What Nigeria? Britain, wait, we don't even need a Nigerian government to come out and cry again because if they are colonists, their slave masters have already come out to come and cry and say, we, I said that I've been in Nigeria controlling everything, seeing everything. We are already seeing the strides that you people have put. We are begging now. We are begging. <laughs> this begging is advertisement for us to understand that Biafrans are going and that they are recording very, very big successes. And there is one other thing she said at the ending part of the video. Let me see if I can get it before I stress a point. PVCs to enable you to participate in the democratic process on election day. Your vote counts. Okay. She said your vote counts. Do you see something there, Biafra? Democratic process. Mm. She said your vote counts. But she she cannot open mouth and tell you that your massacre also counts. The genocide committed on you also counts. The oil and gas that they are killing you for also counts. The fulanization agenda also counts. She's telling you that your vote counts. So it has ever been the plan of the uh, UK to keep all of you in perpetual slavery and to come from generations to generations. So seeing that the Biafran people of this time seeking for the restoration of their mandate are not backing down. If they touch them, woto woto. And they repeal them. Please, anybody will get another thing to say. Still in line, should say, before we carry our come up our screen. Oh, we go. you have something to say? Okay. Thank you. Two, four, seven. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't kill this woman eh? but she will stay there and see how we are going to do this thing she said the democratic process to start democratic process I, this... I wish I had the same democratic she brings to Nigeria make she carry and go meaning that the democracy has not been practiced in Nigeria you know when you are talking about democracy Igbo people are the people that gave birth to democracy all over the world. Britain came and they learned about democracy and they had to practice it. You understand? Then they, they left, they left, they took away that democracy and established it in their own country. Then they came back and they installed to destroy our democratic system. Today, Karun, Karun Lang or Quart. It's now trying to tell you that after this vote, you know, then you will begin to experience or begin to begin to process the democratic movement. Are you getting getting that logic? You know, the the mistake these people did is to bring their language to us, and the half education education is worse than anything. That's why a fella says, "Teacher, teach me nonsense," and that teacher teach me nonsense is speaking loud now. You see corruption. You see killings everywhere. You see all the things going on. You, you keep quiet as if nothing is happening. Time has come when people will tell you we are now ready to die or we are ready to live. And when, if you never take such a decision, nobody will tell you to, uh, that you can be eligible or starting a democratic process. Mazi Paul, can you help us to ask this woman? Ask, wait, when last have election ever solved the problem of that zoo? Have election ever solved the problem? So among all the whole problem that that contraption has, this business that they created, so this woman, she's campaigning for election. So it shows you how evil these people are. Because we are only calling for election to maintain the poverty that has always always been part of that system because you know that it is not election that is the problem because when you when she knows when that I get that time, that phone, I get too much time. The video. But, uh, why is it funny? Make we do another thing about. Why I bring that I video know. now? Why I bring that cool video? Be say make on a see election day useless. 
because they don't decide if you listen he said before they select party candidate before they do party selection of presidential candidate they have already told americans that the best person to come for this president the best person that will work well na buhari so they have already selected this election now the person to be the president has been the selected president. yes and the, by the way even if you make mistake you say they close eye make they see what you go do you vote somebody like you making here door they go come out and put two opposite on them you vote somebody like a fortune city they go come out and put another person where they want so what you want to argue who never see if they're blind and they tell you the truth man you never go. Your, your comrades are not arguing. Your comrades are just acknowledging the fact that the UK government is coming this to... Woman that, me. that is why I want to make it come out. <laughs> no, this woman, this woman, she is, she is making their friends to be proud and happy of their work, their, their formidability, their sacrifice. They sit at home that their friends are doing from Monday to Monday, Monday to Monday, when we call them out every civil disobedience that is what this man is making you to understand that Two for seven. Your, yeah. Two for seven. what is happening here what is happening here is that me you know the plus woman but people back home they took away their electricity that will give them that will enable them to reason well and they are listening to us to tell them the reason why they shouldn't even mind this woman we are here living with them you understand so any game she is playing, we, we tell our people the secret. That is what we are doing. That's why we put time here, because she, she is the British ambassador, representative of Britain. But the comment here shows that people is already understanding what is going on. So if you decide to march forward, we we'll march forward. Raph, if you have something to say. Say before we go to the next. Ah, for do a water, water, do a water, water. No, that's the water. Come on, come on, come on, water, water. Do water, water, do water, water. We are doing that. This is her. This is her last year in that contraption. We have, we have, we have sent her out of her job. Her job is finished in that zoo. As far as we are concerned, now Biafrans have ended her office. You understand? So now, pass it up. Pass it up. See something on the screen. Use it. This is enough evidence that no election in Biafra land has a positive effect on our freedom. Is that what you are asking to use? Yeah, from the confession of this woman. <laughs> exactly. This is enough evidence. Enough evidence that no election in Biafra land has a positive effect on our freedom because we have never seen them come out like this and begin to even campaign. We can only see them talk from the UK, talk, but this one, now nah, they are now even campaigning on ground, campaigning on ground to maintain their system because we have told them that there will be no election. Even this woman is hearing them. Is there anywhere in Britain when uh, the army would be preparing to go and fight people that, that, that say they will not vote? There are videos everywhere where the Nigerian army are saying that we have more weapons than them. Did we tell anybody that we are going to use weapon to stop uh, election in Biafra land? <laughs> Did we tell anybody that Biafras are going to kill anybody because we said there are no election? But this under this woman's nose, Nigerian army are preparing weapon to go and be fighting Biafras that said that they don't want to vote. Does it happen in Britain? Does British army? Bazira, no thanks. I did point something for you. They said the economy of UK is fast going down, and that is why she's coming to beg. <laughs> hey, I love you guys in the comments. Uh, me, you guys me, I'm going to, I am taking Woto, I am taking Woto, 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 to, their, to their country once again. I will go, I will go to England. This woman, I'm looking for a black card with her picture on it. I am going to print her picture and go to Downing Street and I will make, I will look for anybody that will print a very large cardboard of the picture of this woman for me. Because this woman is a vampire that I, we must tell British people if they, they should go and take her. Otherwise, if they don't carry her out, how can you get me out of Nigeria? Okay, now Biafra is something wrong. 
So the economy of UK is going down. That is why she has come to make sure <laughs> they use our our blood, our brains, and our future, our prospects, our dreams, and our children that is to come. Our fathers and everything that we have for our future, they want to use it again to re harness UK because everything is going down. Hey. So, uh, uh, Biafra, we open line. But maybe we touch another two videos before we open line so that uh, the spirit will flow for now. When I will come fire up here. Yeah. And this one, now, uh, now the witchcraft of UK. Uh, now we want to bring another small uh, monkey. We want to bring another small monkey that uh, was talking in uh, in uh, Biafra land. And this is the same monkey that was crying before. So we want people to see how far this monkey now. We want people to see how this monkey now is also going into the wave of the madness of uh, Mazin Namdekanu's freedom. So when you know you know how to deal with them. All right, dear friends, this is another moron. Make sure listen to this one because we get their time. Sorry, sorry, I beg. Okay, okay, okay. I beg if you feel come out and make I tell you something. Man, if 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 you feel talk because this video is old video. Do you understand? Now, video. now very, very old. Now, now, he made, wait, wait. He made this video before he can't do the one way they cry. Then after he can't talk, say he don't understand. We make Simon come tell us, say make we no talk about him again. Uh, now, the, now that old one, this not be the recent one. This is the first one we do. We share the money at the end. Now the old one we do first of all. Let me this. Okay. Now, but, but that, that, that video he did where he were, he where he the cry where they show people's face, giving allegation. Has he deleted it? Wait. After he go do another one. If you don't do this video before our dragon semi will leave him. Yes. He don't do this video. Come to the second one. Then you can't do the third one where you can't say Nana he don't understand the way they kill our people. Where make Simon can say make we know the fight them again, make we leave them. So make we leave them. Okay, there is another one here. We came well prepared. Well, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You, you they laugh. <laughs> I thought you said we get well prepared. You they laugh. Woto woto night. Very good and good script. Now woto woto night did this though. If they bring her fighter jet, that he'll also come. They get better. Uh, <laughs> one come keep your friend. But he cannot bring fighter jet to come and fight the full and terrorists for us. <sighs> Because of Peter will be an evil president. All right, dear yeah, friends, wanna listen to this one. <clears throat> and there is something that will shock you here to, to see uh, what is happening. Well, security guard, as a matter of fact, I am Abuja now. And uh Ganata with twenty-five hillocks or to go down. Because I achieved Tom Hazi and Hilo. The whole five uh, Igbo speaking states, I am five, he lost five, five. Gave it all by next week or thereabout. If I need a phone name and a bag, I could say in two weeks' time from now, you know. So, man, I'm very fed, you know, come on now, man, whatever. I'm I'm coming back with 25 he looks and uh, a boy's gun on you, the original Eastern security. Will come out. Danny Nene Kugelia, within the top of the water. 
Dear friends, now watch the caption on the screen. The same man that finished speaks. Hmm? Watch the same man here dining with Caro White lawyer, a job. So as you're watching this video, be attentive. Yes, ma. Hmm. When I'm out of here, I got to move that glass. Take me water. Life and death. Yeah. I can edit them. Where Jeff? Life and death. Yeah. I can edit them. I got to move that glass. Take me water. I took my money. Life and direct. Yeah. I can edit them. Yeah. Where Jeff? Can end the IPOB? Can I IPOB worldwide? <laughs> Barista. Eh? You are not mad easy. Today is a bad day. Happy birthday. Thank you. Social media now. Bagara gara today. Beni ne melinkuli. Beni ne much is expected. Yes. Yeah, so. No. I don't know. You need guiding. Hold on. Okay. Okay. We don't get the message. But so bam bam bam. Dissect these people. Make beer friends understand what is there. And explain to beer friends when they said the real ESN eh, are going to join forces with them to fight and kill beer friends. They are going to bring terrorists in 25 ELOs as they claim. Then they will now pick their real ESN as they claim. This real ESN, explain to beer friends, make them understand that these are the China Sanguru men, the DOS, the men of the special force the men that have been recruited by uh, a Wallibo congress which he said that it is Anyandibo that are in charge of these men that they are going to use for the election before the elections and after the elections to make sure they brainstorm the ground for politicians take the mic Marty. yeah you've already told them now so you already told them the Afras are aware they know that they are talking about dead men's squad that are the Fulani uh, soldiers is going to be coming with from Abuja. They'll come and they said they will, they will come, they will come by our men in the hood and they crush them. Now, what we need to tell this Anon Pama is that did he find out all the Heloxes? Is he the first person to bring Helox? Did he not know that there are many Heloxes that have been that have been crushed? He lost his have entered everywhere in our in our hood and they never came out. All the Janja weed that came, if the Janja weed that came before were still alive, would he, would they, would he be talking about bringing more Janja weed? The, the way the others were finished, that is the way him himself and the people he's trying to bring will be finished. And the truth is that me, I don't even see this guy as a, he's just a noise maker. He's just looking for, you know, just to make mouth so that uh, people will hear that Nigeria zoo government will hear. Because the zoo government knows that he's hungry. Look at him. He's hungry. He just needs them to give him money and he will just front himself as if uh, he can uh, do something. He can, this one cannot come to Biafra land. Can't come to Biafra land. Already more Biafra it will go to the first. If an image of a job for any phenomena, a job for a job for can he find his way to Biafra land? A job for cannot walk the streets of Biafra right now because he's already an outcast. So this one now he knows that once his face is out now, 
Biafra is a no-go area for him. He cannot cross Biafra land. Talk us of bringing Hilos. Hilos, Bukwage, Bukwage, eh? Talking about uh, the real ESN. What is there? There is only one ESN, and the whole Biafra is known. Mazin Namdekanu inaugurated one ESN, and there are the ESN that we are raising funds for. Every Saturday, we are raising funds for the ESN that Mazin Namdekanu inaugurated. Chebi, they said they have the uh, uh, ESN. Where is the ESN? The Fortuners and Wasetan is crying on the internet. War, 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 war. They call him the commander. Uh, war, the commander. Take your ESN and go and do the war now. If you have ESN. These people are just a bunch of idiots that don't have, they have no mouth or no say anywhere. Even in the zoo, they already know them, that they are just noise makers. Because they just use them to make all this noise so that some people that do not have a strong uh, mental toughness would think that these ones are really, they have something to offer. Nothing, nothing. Come, come, Kahabo. Complete come, come. There is nothing in their brain, nothing in their skull, nothing for them to even offer. Biafra land is already a threat for them. That's why they are in Abuja eating a rotten fish and they are making noise. Shameless idiots. Please, let's uh, go ahead and uh, address more issues that are more of concern. Mazugo. Mazugo. Are you there? You don't mute yourself, but we know they hear you. Hey. <laughs> you get the uh, mic. Uh, one minute I talk about bringing Helos to come and the key the case. Talk he's to going to bring Hilos. The person that is going to bring Hilos, you see where they fight for for crayfish where they fry. Yeah? Person we're hungry. That you say you tell you say that but he's bringing Hilos. Why he the, he is there with the two 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 people, people wife with the chop you see go now copy. They they do better. Yeah. Um... yeah? You want go on, Paul. Say you want, you want to say something. Go on. Okay, but there is something you have to bring out here. Ajio four is the right person to this man. Who says that he is having a sensitive meeting with the Eastern leaders and the Igbo representatives? Who says that he is a defendant of Nigeria, also a lawyer to Mazen Namdekano? And this man says they will bring 25 Hilos van to come and destroy Biafran land. Why is it that a GFO is the eye? of Nigerian government. This is what this man is telling you. Do this thing, uh, Biafra, don't take this thing as a joke. This is not a joke because Ejiofo is the eye of Nigerian government. And this man now have already revealed the secret behind why the meeting which Ejiofo has been having before the rendition of Mazen Namdekan, which we know that the hands of Ejiofo is there. Are you getting it? This is what we have to do here is to connect the dots. Connecting the dot, then you will see, you will analyze that is a Nigerian IPOB leader, a lawyer defending the indigenous people of Biafra who is looking for their own freedom. Then he become the eye as a nationalist of Nigeria. Now, as a person serving Nigerian government, they now reveal to you side by side with the GFO that they have planned 25 kilox buses. This is not a joke. That they will make sure that the, the, the vote goes on. This is what here. Side by side with the GFO, a, a spokesperson of a GFO, this is whom he is, they are side by side there. It's not, not something of joke. So which people are validating Nigeria? Why should they job for one time say that he is defending Mazen Namdekano as the lawyer of a person who is 
looking for his own freedom. Why AG of is defending one Nigeria? The date of election, they will come with 25 hillocks. This is what he said there. I don't know if, if I should continue in this. Thank you. Now, Mazi Sonny, there, there. We know they hear you. Ah, uh, sorry. Mazi, I'll be Are you done? <clears throat> yeah, I use my small minute. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> now, there is something Biafrans need to understand here. I want Biafrans to go and follow this man's name on the media. This name that is written here if this is his real name go and follow this man's name on the media now when you go to the website where they talk about Anyandibo, try to look for this name whether it has anything to connecting to that group of Anyandibo. Walibo congress chairman age of four said that they are of dead men's squad that they will use for the elections to use it and work for the politicians and this includes killing your brothers and sisters during election trying to enforce one sit at home or another and trying to blackmail the biafran people in one way or another there are many things to connect on this very video because there are series of threats and messages that have come out from the one Nigeria media personnel. And this man here could be one amongst those groups of the Anyandibo that is part and parcel of this dead men's squad group that a Jofo, the Walibo criminal chairman, made mention of on his interview on uh, Dr. Damage's program to work for. 2023 elections, especially in Biafra land, to work against the Biafran project and to decimate Biafran because of the quest for and their tenacity against the election in one uh, in Biafra land. So there is another thing here that you need to also connect that the person that is working with this man, where you spot this man now, is with a job, just like Mansi Ubiko said. Why is it that wherever they are planning the annihilation and the destruction of lives and properties of the Biafran people, that is where you will see a Jofo. A Jofo is the one, when we said no elections in Biafra land, when we are doing sit to the release of MNK, and also in preparedness to what we are going to do in this election time, a Jofo is the one that called for the arrest and probing of Mati Simon Epa and many other media personnel. Ejofo is the one that take you to court. The same court of the oppressor where he claims he is defending Mati Namdikano. Mati Raf said something before. That Ejofo said he is surprised that one Nigeria, the court of one Nigeria, declared Mati Namdikano discharge. So if you are a lawyer working for the Biafran people and your mandate was to make sure he is discharged and then you come back to come and tell the Biafran people, I myself, I am surprised that he has been pronounced discharged. You must connect the dot and understand who a job is working for. Then you will understand that Maji Simon Ekba has always been right. Then you will understand that autopilots have always been right. So the 25 e-looks that they are coming with. They are not coming with 25 e-looks with military men to come and fight terrorists. They are coming with 25 e-looks loaded with terrorists in uniform to come and kill Biafrans. They did not come with these 25 e-looks loaded with soldiers or volunteer men to come and fight against the terrorists that invaded Eamufu. They did not form these men to come and fight for the people in Okikwe, in Uli, 
in Olu, in Umutanze, in Owomama, and in all parts of Biafra land, where they are killing, maiming, and raping, and massacring people every day. But they can go and form this security group and then come with them to come and clamp down on you and kill you because you refuse to allow one Nigeria to continue to the detriment of your future, your children, and your very present life that you are living. So the Africans must understand what the role of a Jopo has always been and the person that he is talking about and working with them because all their support is to go to obedience who at the tail end is to destroy your focus and tenacity on no elections in Biafra land and the release of mass in Africa. But all their plans are laid on arrival. So Biafrans should understand and remember. See, you see, as they are eating this and they are saying, this is a IPOB, auto, a IPOB worldwide. So this is what how they will go and then sit down and plan evil, come back. Come and use dead men squad. They come and enter and be killing beer friends, and then they are eating these chickens in the name of IPOB. This is how their IPOB have been uh, uh, spelled out in the system, sitting down to plan with politicians on how to come and kill beer friends. Nazi Obiko, you raise your hand. You may go on, please. Yeah. Our people used to say, the more you explain to people, then they will understand. You know that AGO4 says in the program of DOS that why should Simon Eba say that Biafra is coming in 2023? Let Biafra come, let him see. And because Bi 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 um, this is 555 vision, Biafra mm. Bible, Biafra Gospel and Bible. Yes, he actually said that. Yeah, he said yes. that. He said, let, let, let him come let and, Biafra, give, and let bring Biafra, let them see. So you, this is something. And they, before the extradition of Mazen Nandekan, he also died. Gento died. Mazen Nandekan had an interview with the Arise TV. And after that time, they renditioned him, kidnapped him, and they renditioned him to Nigeria. And the age of four, when Gento he said that things are happening in Nigeria that are insecurity. So for this reason, he is having a sensitive meeting with the Igbo leaders and the Nigerian politicians. Within that minute, Namdekano was reditioned. Connecting the dots together, this man, Ejofo says, let Biafra come in 2023, let him see. This man says they are coming with 25 healers. And they bring original ESN that will vote. Remember the reason why everybody channeled their 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 war against Simon Eba was because of, of election in Anambra State to vote Pito Umbo Soludo. From there, they they said they think that Simon can stop the election, but through back, they are able to pass the vote. And the same strategy is what they are going to use again. Are you getting it? Now, after all the expositions, people get to know. Ibo World, Con Ibo World Congress says that Simon Eba is taking this thing beyond measure that he originally needed Biafra. For them, that Biafra did 52 years ago, that what they are doing is just to make sure that they are saying something, connecting the dots because we are preaching the gospel of Biafra. Are you getting it? Now, Igbo War Congress have said they don't need Biafra. What they need is, or is um, presidency, P2B, the way they voted the um, Soludo. And the Soludo letter come up and say that that person, they say that he is not in the interest of, of, of Igbo people, that it has been misquote, that that person is really for the interest of Biafrans. For this reason, he is joining Simon Neba to say, release Mazen Namdekano to him. Release him and because Nigerian Court of Justice is standing with Mazen Namdekano. Say, if 
he can give shorty because Simon never is fighting liberation of Mazen and Americano. This is simple. Now, then when they see now that the Simon Eba is no go area, this he and the Carolina Lang called the, the, the legible Nigerians to come together and support the Geofo with 25 healers. Only 25 healers is what they said here. They never tell you about the the flight the jet fight they are coming with, they, and they have never told you how they planned with a um, military Boko Haram recruited. And the way you go there, you will see when Buhari says that these IPOBs are just the dot, that he will teach them to the language they will understand. Connect everything together, then you will see how this thing is coming. And, and this man, he said. Those other pilots, he is going to do them with the 24 25 healers. Are you getting it to make sure that they vote? So, Pierre France, try to get it very, very clear because we are not joking here, we are here to put the record on the straight. Biafra is the religion and the gospel. All this thing here we see, we come out in the history. Thank you. Thank you, Mazi Owubiko. Dear friends, the lines are open now for us to take some calls. So put your call through so that we know your opinions and your views. Mazi Ugo, you may say something while we wait for the calls to start flowing in. Well, <coughs> for those of you that have missed your calls, I'm going to call you back, please. Mazi Ugo, fire up. Call is already coming in. Okay, caller on. Uh... Um, actually, um, when I, I listen to um, Biafra United uh, uh, video pertaining this um, age of four and the five years, to say that I wanted to ship it that is to you before I, I see that we are discussing about it already. Okay, um, there's something area again I want us to analyze. We need to get Biafra as a pretend on this because there's a, during the Biafra war, my father, who was a good that told me certain things, a certain game played by the Nigerian government. Wearing, the, wearing Biafra's uniform, Biafra's uniform, taking our people in the coastal region, okay, they are instigating them against us. I'm saying. So now this man makes a moment of a uh, re yes, yes. Ah. Hello? Fire on, we can hear you. Fire on. Okay. Okay, uh, the uh, the man mentioned uh, mention of uh, um, uh, he really yes, and uh, we need to let that you know because this is they want to cause confusion now. They will go and wear dressed like really yes, and go attack innocent people, then still get people as if this yes, and attack them. So we have to hammer this issue and open our eyes, open their brain to understand the game they want to play, uh, and we must allow them to succeed. The uh, GFO has proven. He is the evil. He's the one holding Mazin and the Kano. Jofo and the Eastern Governors are the one holding Mazin and the Kano. They are proving beyond this level doubt. And we should be, every level Biafra should be out. We shouldn't be afraid of death. If it's death, let us die for our children. A Jofo cannot be riding on us. A Jofo is too small to be riding on us. Okay? So whoever they be, we um, as let all the effort understand that whenever uh, they see anybody that comes to BSN to come and attack innocent people, they should know that it's a, a Gubagu and the uh, uh, dead squad, men, men, men squad of a Jiofo and Shina Sanwaru and the Chike Dozier and uh, all those uh, criminals. <coughs> let them know that. Please, that is what I want to join. Thank you. Thank you, Mazi. That point is noted and we will clarify the uh, on that. Um, please, let me, let me refresh first because. Uh, <laughs> I can't see it actually anything. Let me refresh. So that, uh... It wants to refresh, we have to hold on.
right. Um, Mazi okay. Samidu, can you take call from here or you have a call there? Yeah, there is a caller here. Hold on, please. Let me just uh, set the studio. There's a caller here on the phone. After this one, you can pick that one. Okay, caller, caller on WhatsApp, you may go on now. Okay, I'll talk a lot. What they don't know is bigger than them. What do, what do is the code? That's it. I'm calling for the zoo. They will. Uh, there's a suggestion I want to make about our people, about this new election issue, that we also follow should try to know how to put the speakers, those who are be chargeable, and the speak to different markets, both rural, rural area and urban area. That's how the market is for, for rural areas. Now we're talking about no election, no, at least maybe uh, we we'll know how to do it if we will get it. But maybe by five o'clock in the morning, when you go to the market, you will join the city. So anyone that here, when you go back home, you will tell your family. Because not all our people know about this. Because this, uh, all these uh, criminals, this GOS and cook, they are putting confession to people's health. I know our people. They always talk about, hey, what am I going to eat? We don't know that it can never die if you know if you not go to market for so day, so so day. So that's my suggestion. So that the, the news will go down at the ground and reach everywhere all the grass, grassroots. Because they will use our all those uh, all those our mothers in the village to do nothing. That's the people that used to campaign. I call the secret meeting for campaign. But when they hear all these things, at least from my own side, there's a time that all this or this is at home. Just one day, or no government pass by. They're not talking to anybody. But I say the same. I say what that happened to the market. Because even Monday, those that are stubborn, they rushly go in the morning and run back to their home. But if we start all these things, what is their propaganda will kill it through information. Thank you, my brothers. Thank you, Mazi. That point is noted. Please, um, let us clarify something before we go on. The from this video that we played here on the screen, the real ESN that this man was referring to are the dead men's squad that is being championed by um, uh, China Sanguru, the DOS, and one Nigerian government. Those are not the ESN that we are doing fundraising for every day, just like uh, Mazi Ra rightly stated before. So if you did not hear it properly, our real ESN, the one that was set up by Mazen Namdekano, their own work is not to work for politicians. Their own work is not to kill you. Their own work is to protect you. And that is what they are doing. As we speak right now, they are in the bushes. You will not see them in the streets. So these ones that they are talking about now, they say they want to use them in the streets for political interests to come and fight and make sure these are the talks that will be used for the election. Uh, Mazera, please, your caller can go on, please. Yeah, hello, you can speak. Oh, the line is open for you. Now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone in the studio. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, our media warriors, you guys are making us proud. You see, that British woman in Abuja, she's crying because of you people. They are feeling the heat. For the first time, a British High Commissioner is begging Nigerians, come and renew your slavery, come and renew your slavery. That, that shows that you guys are doing a great job. And believe me, we all you guys are very big appreciation. She's begging, come and renew your slavery, come and renew your slavery. That is what the British woman in Abuja is telling their friends. Come and renew your slavery. And one thing there again is that we are telling them that we can't renew that slavery. And let me tell you, I have told my people in the village, I have told them, come. British are holding us full, and they are holding us in one Nigeria by force. And we will rescue you all by. We lost you there. I have a caller here. Can I go on? Yeah, his own is reconnecting. I don't know. Maybe you should go on. I don't know. Go on. His own line is reconnecting. Go on, Mazugo. Okay, 
Okay, Mazi, go on. Hello, hello, Mazi. Yeah, go on. Hello, hello, Mazi, two for ten. Go on, Mazi, we are listening to you. <coughs> okay. I'll make a little more room on I'll, 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 I've been trying to contact you, but it's giving me tough time. I to be contact with you, because uh, this thing, I won't even win when I'm in Dubai. I'm at email donation, DSM, so I'm at try to donate, I'm at the gym, I'm at the gym, I'm at the gym, I'm at the gym, i Okay, Okay, because noise is in background. The phone is getting from the video. He's asking of Dubai, the people in Dubai, do we have any family in Dubai? Eh? Can you hear me at all? Sonny, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I said, the caller is saying he is calling from Dubai and uh, he wants to know if there is any how he can make his donations from Dubai. I know they hear you, Sonny. Okay, uh, Mazugo, sorry. I um, was online with someone to clarify. Ah, okay. okay. Um, um, we will send the the helpline to the person from there. They will follow him up. I'll oh. forward the number to you now. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, please. Be, t be taking calls. Rab, do you have caller on the line? Yeah, I have a caller. C can we okay, bring him in? Go on, go on, please. All right. Uh, is it possible to to right. to finish at twelve o'clock? Hello. In ten minutes. We should finish. Hello. Go ahead and make a contribution, please. But if you can, uh, sorry, call if you want. You can exit if you have anywhere to go. You must not be here till the end. Okay. Thank you. Yes. One two four seven. Saying that uh, that they, that you guys made idea. So my my idea that I got was <coughs> was when I heard my when when I heard um the FR two four seven type that you guys made ideas. So I came up with an idea. So the idea itself is if there like you know different engineers that can come up with ideas. So we can any ideas, whether you be in, in <coughs> mechanical engineering or autom automotive engineering or any kind of engineering that we can come up with, with an idea or a, a, an invention idea or some kind of an idea to trade with other other countries, other countries like something we can trade with co other countries so they can so they can support us. Like it can be, for uh, for example, the idea could be an an engine, or some kind of wind turbine, solar panels, or, <coughs> or any kind of idea, <coughs> terms that we can come, come up with in the Afro land, so that we can trade this with any country that wants to support us. We can give them this idea so that they can support us, and uh, at least they know that we have something upstairs that we uh, that we can contribute to the world. We, we use our brain to con contribute to the world, you know. Like when we when we want to have our own country, we want to have a country filled with people with brains. So if if there's some kind of any idea 
any idea that we can use to trade with other countries so they can so so they can um you know help us or give us weapons in, in an exchange that would be great you know like for example like for example me here i i um i have ideas about auto, automotive ideas you know like engine manufacturing like a new engine idea for cars and airplane and uh like when i said airplane like small airplane like a cessna cessna airplane Okay, do we see have calls? Do we see have calls? Calls, calls, calls. We have calling and then um, A or views. Let us refresh your. You have a color? Wait, I don't know that you have the talk since. My color was talking since. You like I muted it. You muted yourself. We know you. I was you hearing you. you. I was hearing him. That was before, but later I muted now. Uh, there was a mistake, oh, mistake mute. Okay, he's talking about ideas. I just round up your thought. He's talking about ideas that he has ideas. No, let him start from the beginning then. Because okay, the, go the, ahead. Please, please, please sorry. The, the line was muted. Can you come back again to what you were saying? Okay, I'm saying that what I'm saying is that you know saying that they, you guys need ideas. So I, I started thinking maybe we just need ideas maybe to invent stuff, to invent things, to, to trade with other countries so they can support us or, or when there was any support or weapons to fight. Because if, 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 we, if we have an idea or something, some kind of um, um, idea that we can trade, with with other countries maybe they can lend us support and partner with us to get us to get the freedom and then they will the, the work with us too after we get our freedom so if there is any any individual in different land that can that can that do have an idea and maybe our scientists there can manufacture this can, can manufacture a prototype and there are a small sample of this idea, you know, yeah. So we can trade, so we can trade and show other countries that we have the brains, not just the, you know, the muscle. We have also the brain, you know. Okay. So I don't have an idea. I don't have an idea. It's just if is there any, any. I have an idea of a small of, of an engine and a wind turbine. Can be used in automotive. Yeah, thank you. So he's saying that he personally has idea about how to manufacture even engines of car, engine of uh, Cessna planes or the small planes, automotive and all that. So you know, this uh, uh Sonny, what do we tell him now? It's uh, people that have ideas. I think there's there's a uh, some people that. Mas, someone was asking to bring their their email. Yeah, let them uh, get in contact with uh, Madam uh, Azuka. Azuka. Yeah. Okay. So get All him, right. get him, get his contact so that you can connect him across. Okay, I'll do that. Do we have call there? Because there's another caller coming in. Uh, pick, pick your own. Pick your own. All right. Uh, hello, hello, caller. Hello. Yeah. You have you have two minutes, please. Yeah, thank you. Uh, please, there are something that I want to contribute. Uh, you people are doing a great job. I thank you, all, all of you. Uh, please, this call, this guy was calling that he has a, he has a, a idea for something like that. I think we are too passionate of uh, uh, speaking our, we are too emotional to speak about our, Secret. I think you people in the in the media 
supposed to have that kind of secret call. When such thing, somebody has said, uh, said such thing, you come in down and say, please, this is the time, if it's Thursday or Wednesday, you people have to have time to discuss with that person, not to make it in public. We make everything in public because speaking our opinion, I know you people have a lot of job. 24 hours with people online. I do pity you people, but God will give you people grace. Please let us put some ideas, some secret between our own self. Such thing, you people, media, I so much trust you people. Even when Simon is not there, you can collect uh, every evidence, every thing with that very person, and pass it to Simon or link it with Simon, whether the person wants to know our secret. You people have to investigate very well before you pass the information to Simon or the, any authority will handle this thing. Please, let us be caution. Thank you. God thank bless you, all of you. Thank you, thank you. All right. Okay, call us, please. If you are calling in, if you have anything that is sensitive that has to do to the way forward of this struggle, don't put it on air direct. Message, message us privately. Only call in here to comment on the broadcast topic that we are doing, Katrina Lian, the UK government, and this uh, HO4 madness, and the videos that we have played. Um, I missed a call from this caller on WhatsApp. Caller, I'm calling you back. Please pick your call so that you can hear your views. Hello, what's up? Welcome to the program. I missed your call and I called you back. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Hello. Um, Pastor Van Van Van. And the yeah, I Yes, Paul, I will be I'm glad I see. I'm just saying greetings and thank you for the big job. Our people, imagine somebody who is dealing with against talking against um for votes with one Nigeria. And these same people, I'm just talking, I'm not for you people, but for some people who don't know. How can you just be following DOS and you see they never condemn this person who is saying that the Afras will go and vote, they are bringing uh, how many uh, hillocks and going to Biafra land to go that the people will vote. And he's going to, to from, from Abuja. That means, say, simply means, say, na, 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 the federal capital people, they, so they take him. You know, they are sponsoring him. That's, that, that is what that says, you know? Because what else? You're coming from Abuja, from the federal capital territory of Nigeria, and you're going to Biafra to go destabilize uh, or to go make sure that vote happens. So connecting dots, it is not uh, difficult. So any person that still has their conscience intact, and just because they, they've been manipulated to be following the Zama group of companies, to think, because I'm so ashamed sometimes when I, I come online and see them, I see certain comments, I was, I would be like, how can I associate myself? I weep, I weep for some brothers who don't have their, their so-called frontal lobe that they are thinking with, they don't even have it connected. So this is a, a, a speaking very loud. And about the, the, the woman where the, the Katrina led, a British person, she's she not even eligible to vote. What is her business in coming to preach for our for voting in a in in a, in their colonial uh, contraption? So and the good when when we were talking about uh, two seven four seven, we don't want to have her picture. But it was good. You learned that you know there are people who just always bow for the colonial people. But we see that we tearing them down. You know that thing. Only the pictures is the way. You guys, it played, you know, and it discussed, it represents, it, is, it, it works more than, more than even anything. Because the way some people will see it, some people, you know, sometimes some people even categorize your intelligence because of how good you speak English. Imagine that mentality. 
So upon all that thing now, the way you guys dissected everything, you see that even if you watch if you watch it, she will be crying, she will be like this in a bull and I guess that is in it. Because the most important thing is like how you dissect everything and put everything in their own in the way it will be. Prove that you you are you are you are, you are thinking. You are thinking, you know, people won't take mouths, they talk, they think, oh, people will be feeling, when they open their mouth, it's still a brain, they talk. This is what we are talking about. So, my people, I say, respect to each and every one of you for what you're doing and keep doing it. You know, no turning back, it's forward, ever backward, never, because just is what we are dealing with, and that simply means life preserving. And it goes beyond our own. You are all our heroes, because it goes beyond the Alpha. We are there to deal with other people, we are saving other people too. So stay blessed. If you like say what in the column, do whatever won't stop me. Okay no. now make a make a give way for other people. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your call. Okay, okay my is go on. <laughs> uh, my brothers, my brothers, good evening. No, I hope I'm coming out loud and clear. Yes. Okay, uh, Ralph and everybody, Zone and uh, everybody that's in the panel, I really thank all of you for the good job you're doing. I know people want to talk, so I will take exactly two minutes. There's something I want to enhance on. The guy that called, yeah, I know that uh, Zone has said that they should uh, contact you guys privately. That call he called, he said he can build machines. It's very, 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 very important. Why I'm saying this is sometimes. If because of our daily activities, we're making programs and stuff like that, we might forget to call these kind of people back. We might displace their numbers. At the end of the day, those people might think, okay, the idea has been neglected. At the end of the day, we have lost a very important person in this struggle. Because for me, this time around, it's not about all these, all these things, uh, the job for eating, eating, so yeah, eating. It's about ideas. So my own suggestion is please, please be con. Take this kind of call very, very serious. That is number one. And number two is please, our people that is hearing all these broadcasts, this is time for everybody to participate in sharing of the news. If they are sit at home, I don't want my own people to die in the hands of Nigerian state. And I believe everybody hearing my voice now don't want your people to die. So it's blessed for you to use your Facebook page, share the program. Talk about it. Make people understand. If they sit at home, let the people sit at home so that the casualties will be very, very less. So that the people that will confront these idiots, they can be able to do their job. So that is number one. Let me just rush it before my time is finished. So the next one is there is one uh, one U.S. guy. I was watching 247 program. I think it yesterday or today. I don't know. One U.S. guy, U.S. soldier that is on that program. I listened to that program three times. I have to like forward, go back forward. I see this guy, I really have a lot to offer. That guy really have a lot to offer. And I, I think that these guys, some of these guys, like the other one, Mr. Max, I always see him in every program defending the struggle. He was a military guy. He, he fought everywhere. Max, I don't know, it's like he's living in Ghana yeah. or in, uh, I don't know, he's living, <coughs> yeah, yeah. he's living now. That kind of person. I think it's very, very good to bring this kind of people closer, at least listen to them. That is just my suggestion, brothers. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you, Elvis. Thank you so much. Can I play a voice note? They are recording voice notes now because it calls. No, no fit come. Can I play voice note? Voice uh, they said they, were, they record them as voice note. The call was recorded as a voice note instead of call. <laughs> okay, no, Allah. I have about two. Let me play. There's nothing like on top one lot. First of all. Good evening. Good evening. Chama Kaje. It's a good idea. Instead of hanging them on the phone, you tell them they record them. They record them. You play them. You understand? They, they fear now. Now I make a no fee call. And all the rest of the leader pile, uh, uh, auto, auto pile auto, as they call us. Uh, I want to say there's nothing like auto pilot, first of all. Uh, I appreciate all your people's work. And uh, God will bless all of you. 
long live IPOV worldwide, long live Biafra, long live PSN, BMLG, long live Biafra National League, Biafra National Guide, long live Biafra Costa Rica, long live. Anybody will send me voice note to him past two minutes. I don't go play him. Uh, this one, how many minutes will be? Long live your husband. Long live Simon Edba. Long live our great leader and the eye opener. Our Ohamadike one. Ohamadike Debole. And around worldwide. Maze Namade Kano. I am recording this. Let me put it in a short way. I've had uh, from the beginning and I'm um, also still listening. Every comment, both from that so called commission or ambassador of Britain in Nigeria. First of all, every Nigeria is legible. I don't know what he mean by legible. First of all, that shows you how evil the woman is. First of all, that shows you how bad Nigeria is. We are not Nigeria, and we can never be Nigeria. We will never be Nigeria. We are just waiting for the announcement. When Simon Eba will declare that it's time, we will troop in. We will invade every news and corner. This war, let us fight it once for all. And this war should not be only fought in Biafra land. We must start this war very far. If it is even possible, we invade different, different country. Play this voice. Play this voice. Please voice. The woman is evil by telling us who is legible Nigeria and who is not legible Nigeria. We are all legible in our land. That is one. Number two contribution, we must be ready, physically fit, and mentally tough, like our brother and our leader tell us. We have too much sabotoir, money wongas in our land, and we must deal with them. So we will listen to all of them. He, he still remains almost four minutes old. Before the time, before we... Allow his message to finish now. It's just like you give him time for call. To invade, we are going to invade. We are not going to allow at this time for them to invade us before we invade them. We have to invade them from the north to the any part that are in against us will be against them. We have to invade them. If any country will go beyond the border, if it is necessary, that we must invade. In order to get our freedom, we have to do it. We have to do it. That is what I say. And that is my contribution. As for those who, who bring Buari, which that man has confirmed that even before the election, they have choose who will be the president. So what are they, what, what are we talking here? What are we talking here? The man just revealed everything. So you are not understand that. That is still the Europeans and America that decide who will be the president in Africa. In fact, the worst part of it is that we sh should learn from what happened to others. There's ethnic called the Benjics in Miami. Those small tribes, they were massacred in thousands. Up to today, those people have been forgotten. Nobody's talking about them. So they want us to be massacred in thousands before they will be able to declare and be giving us asylum. Giving us asylum. Uh, we apply for asylum in UK. And they were giving us bread in hand and tea in cup and give us with some pants and the hero we put in our pocket for eating. We must fight 
and in the time is now, if you remember only one person to be a Biafra, let that person marry and become a Biafra and establish our country for the thousands and hundreds, perhaps millions of years to come for the generation of Biafra to be proud that their father at least give them liberty. Finally, I want to touch that of Uche, uh, what do you call it? What, what are you people calling this? That criminal, that lawyer. I call him a criminal because anybody who says there's a nation in, a, in, in the Afro land is a, a crook. And anybody who tells you that the citizen is dead is a crook. That's the weapons we are using to establish and prepare people for things to come. And the Uche, what do you call it? Barista, if I your for, have entered one chance, I want to deal with him. We must not give chance. Oh, you are killing your own. We want to kill our own. Go and take the history of apartheid in South Africa. With that, those black people being killed, there's no way Mandela would have come out, and there was no way even apartheid would have finished. They kill more blacks who are supportive within than the white people themselves. We must kill the enemy within before we can be free to go out for the enemy with that. It is the enemy within that we must kill, identify, kill. Oh, that shall not kill. That's what the Bible says. But say he that killed with what shall be killed with what? How many millions of us should they kill before we can reply? This is the time. Thank you very much. Long live once again the media team of IBOB. They can call you autopilot, autopilot. I don't care. You are really IBOB. And we are in millions. We just wait for an ounce of Simon Eber. Let the gun and the missile, hand missile, grenade be distributed accordingly. Everybody, every man, missile in Biafra should have his own, her own gun, padded and loaded with all kinds of bullets, machine gun, missile, hand grenades. We must have everything. Our food and medicine should be available. We can we can fabricate them right there. Let the material be put on the ground. Let everything be distributed accordingly. We have to march with these people and push them. I want to push even the north out. Push them to Niger Republic and push them to Senegal Mali. How many are they? Check how many we are. We can take the whole West Africa. And not this. I beg, you don't finish. Don't, don't do, don't do. Okay, thank you for this uh, message. Got, I got other voice notes. Maybe we'll play them next time. Maybe we'll tomorrow. Get... Continue from there to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, another person it's done the call. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, pick the caller. Call. Tell her, make you use just one minute, I beg. Yeah, oh, yeah. Caller, just one minute because we are running off. You are the last caller. Please make sure you off that side. You are waiting to hear yourself on the radio. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. One minute, please. Yeah, what I want to say is that uh, before, as, as this thing is going on now, there should be a way to fight those people that are destroying what people are saying before they were executed the action. Now, the people that say they want to use to fight killers, is there no way to face them now before they even strike? Because if you wait them to do what they will do, they will continue to spoil things. We that are in Nigeria here, yeah, we cannot do anything because if you do anything, they will, they will link you up, they will expose you. But you people that are there should have a way to fight those people that are against what you are saying. How we go take how we go take day here, take five person win day in Nigeria, one carry twenty five hillocks. Now from here now I go for fight them. And what I mean is this that those here say that are ready on ground. Mm. We should face them without letting them know. Mm. Those true ESA should face them. Because you don't say people with their house, and I know if you do anything. Now we wait there here, go fight person when carry he locks for Nigeria. You know what I mean is, you know what I mean is, what I mean is, it's like ESA, like we now, some of us don't even know the true one. Now, if people that know the true ESA, you tell them to begin to eliminate this one after that. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Mm. We are waiting for right. good night. We are waiting yeah. for the 25 uh, Elooks with uh, the terrorists on them. Let them come. But uh, before they, they they come in, let them tell you what has happened to them in the past few days, face, because they are not bringing it to the media. <laughs> because we see them flooding in thousands, but we don't see them going out. Anything for bush meat. <laughs> Anything where enter bush, na bush meat. 
Anything where the bush, the bush meat. We we had that music. I go look for them later. Anything for bush, the bush meat. Anything for bush, the bush meat. Okay, dear friends, we thank you so so much, and we appreciate um, your focus, your determination, and your synergy. Remember tomorrow. In okay, some people in Biafra are already in uh, Monday, so today is Monday. Sit at home, observe it, and then stay back in your houses, please. Wherever you are, and then you observe it, sit at home. Nobody will come and kill you or touch you because you are in your houses. It is your right to stay in your houses and decide what you do to yourself. You do not go out to be caught by a spray bullet of uh, one Nigeria and the politicians and Igbo leaders and uh, Ajofo and their team and DOS. The whole world are crying and they are acknowledging the result of your sit at home and your determination to the freedom of the Biafran people. And this is exceptional. Hi, Hi my, my name is Katrina Lai, the British High Commissioner to Nigeria. Nigeria. With the 2023 elections fast approaching, I'd like to encourage every eligible Nigerian to, to go pick up your PVC so you can exercise your voting rights. Remember, the deadline is Sunday. Monday the 29th. So hurry now, go get your PVCs to enable you to participate in the democratic process on election day. Your vote counts. Hi. If your determination and your sit at home, your civil disobedience, your Wodo Wodo Pro Max, your autopilot team, Marisa Monekba, the media, Omoada, ESN, and every gallant man that have volunteered to make sure they bring one Nigeria down. If it was not working, British High Commission would not come to be crying. And they are coming to cry to you, to beg you. Say, please, come oh, forget about your Biafra. Come and vote, please. I want Nigeria to continue so that I can continue to kill you, can continue to destroy your land and your people. So this Sonny? is. Sonny? Sonny? Yes, Yes, this sir. color, uh, this uh, record now, now 20 seconds. May we hear that very important. Okay, you can play. 20 seconds. Uh, my people, God bless everyone. You guys are making us proud. You see, I got one hint to this early morning. This more early morning, uh, I was discussing with an uncle that is a politician, one of those shouting P2B, P2B, P2B. But you know what the guy told me? That guy told me that P2B, that uh, all of them I see shouting P2B, that they are not for P2B. But they want to use P2B now to get sympathy. But all of them are working for PDP and the APC. When you hear all these analysts, all of them are working for PDP and the APC. Full and me and uh, Dini have bought all these people. But they are using P2B, P2B to get the, uh, you know, to get the sympathy of our people. So that is what they are working. But I mean, our people don't know. Our people don't know, but that is what they are working. And the man told me, come right, come They must get the 25% they need to deliver for APC and the PDP in the Southeast. So when they are saying P2B, P2B, they are not for P2B. But the masses don't know. But these politicians, you see, they know what they are doing. So that is what is happening. Thank you very much. Sharp, sharp. Sharp, sharp. They are suffering from dementia and they will continue to suffer from it. Elections is not going to hold in Biafra land, so if they like, let them go to hell. Matthew, you want to say something? The way they are one talk now, they don't hear them all. <laughs> all of them are working for APC and PDP and they are using P2B to distract you. And you think we are going to allow P2B to distract what we are doing? I'm gonna go soon, I'm not there. <laughs> believe. Boko, gotcha. So, be a friend. Uh, you don't even need us again to come and tell you that you are doing well. UK government are telling you in this video that you are doing well for fighting for your freedom, that you are doing well for demanding the release of Martin Ambicano, that all the measures that you're putting in place that you are hitting them hard. That is the confession that you get from this woman. Because if you were not hitting them hard, they will not be coming out to be begging you, say, please, I beg, come and vote again. Come and do the election again so that we, we can continue to kill you. But um, the African people have made up their mind. Martin and Bicano must be free. The Africans must be free. And Wotu Wotu will continue. Uh, they go. Give your closing remarks so that uh, we work out come up for here. Well, um, you know, say, you get the way you go walk rich. God go send helper. 
When you hear say God go make a way where there is no way, where he there seems to be no way, now be this. We don't walk, walk, walk. God don't hear our cry. He can send them. And they are foolishly, ignorantly working for us, thinking they are working for themselves. Everybody that cry, come and vote, come and vote, come and vote. There will not be election in Biafra land. Punto. Point. Finish. So Biafrans, we are making progress. Woto Woto remains the pro max. Woto Woto remains the code. We are not retreating. We are not surrendering. Now we be this. We don't make a reach here. Remember, Simon Epa, now you see the leaders. For now, until Oyen do come out. We no get any mouth. We go speak, make we listen if no be Simon Epa. The special thanks to him wherever he is now, whatever he is doing, may God strengthen him and Omada and the sheer person of sheer person of Omada, sheer person of Omada, we greet you as well. And everybody, all of you, wait there for comment section, wait not there for comment, wait here us now, we go see here. Special regard and love. And our our leader and the canon and all of all the rest of them in detention without trial. God will strengthen them all. We are moving. Let's go. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Bam, 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 bam. Fellow, fellow dear friends, we've had a long day and a long night. And